Welcome back dito sa ating module 2, Solving Quadratic Equation by Extracting Square Root. So here, you are expected to determine concepts needed in solving quadratic equation by extracting square root and solve quadratic equation by extracting square root. But first, review muna natin. Ano ba ang squaring a number? So if we say squaring a number, we multiply the same number. For example, 4 squared or 4 raised to 2, kaya square of 4. That is equal to 16. So the square of 4 is 16. Another example, we say x squared or kaya x raised to 2. So, kaya square of x. So, that is x squared. Therefore, the square of x is x squared. Now, try to give the squares of the following. What is the square of 5, 6, 8, and 9x? Simply, we multiply 5 by itself. 6 by itself. 8 by itself and 9x by itself. And now we will have this expression. And finally, we have these products. Ang product na ito ay mga perfect square number or numbers or perfect square expression. Thus, extracting square root means to get the root or base of a given perfect square number or perfect square expression. Simply, it is the reverse process of squaring a number or an expression. Halimbawa, what is the square root of 81? So since we know that 81 is a perfect square number, then its root is positive negative 9 where 9 is called the principal square root or the positive square root of an expression or a number. Ito yun. Square root of 81 equals positive negative 9. Tanong, are non-perfect square numbers or expressions still have roots? The answer is yes. Halimbawa, ano ang square root ng 8? So, since 8 is not a perfect square number, let's try to extract its root. So, square root of 8 equals the square root of 4 times 2, separating square root of 4 and square root of 2. And since we know that 4 is a perfect square number, that is positive negative 2, while square root of 2 is not extractable into a perfect root. Therefore, we just copy square root of 2. The square roots of a non-perfect square expression or non-perfect square number are irrational numbers. Sa panghalimbawa, ano ang square root ng 5x squared? So, square root of 5x squared, paghiwalin natin ang 5 at saka x squared, so, square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of x squared. Since x squared is a perfect square expression, that is positive negative x multiplied by square root of 5. Question, are negative numbers or negative expressions have roots? The answer is yes, but the roots are imaginary numbers. Let's try to discuss on how to get the root or roots rather of a negative number or, or expressions. So what is the square root of negative 16? So square root of negative 16 is equal to the square root of positive 16 multiplied by negative 1. And that is square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. Since 16 is the perfect square number, we know that the square root of 16 is positive negative 4 while square root of negative 1 is i. Take note that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i 
or i square is equal to negative 1. So this same concept is applied in solving quadratic equation by extracting square root. Halimbawa, solve for the values of x. x squared minus 4 equals 0. Applying the addition property of equality, we add positive 4 on both sides of the equation. Therefore, we will arrive at x squared plus 0 equals 4. Simplifying it further, x squared equals 4. Then we extract the roots. So, square root of x squared is x. Square root of 4 is positive negative 2. Therefore, the roots or the solutions or the values of the variable that will make the equation true are positive and negative 2. Another example. 3x squared equals 27, so what is the value of x? To do this, we divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, times x squared is x squared, while 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, we can now extract the roots. So square root of x squared is x, while the square root of 9 is positive negative 3. Therefore, the roots or the solutions are positive and negative 3. To differentiate the two roots when extracting square roots, we refer the square root of x as the positive square root or the principal square root, while we refer negative square root of x as the negative square root of a given expression or a given number. For example, Meron tayo naman ito. Una, negative square root of 25. Pangalawa, positive square root of 144. And number 3, the positive and negative square root of 100. So, ang sagot natin sa number 1 is negative 5. Samantalang sa number 2, is positive 12. At sa number 3, ay positive negative 10. sum it up, there are always two roots or solutions in case of solving quadratic equations whenever we extract roots. The roots when we extract square root of a positive number or expression are positive and negative real numbers. While the roots when we extract square root of a negative number or expression are positive and negative imaginary numbers. To differentiate the two roots when extracting square roots, we refer square root of x as the positive square root or the principal square root, while we refer to negative square root of x as the negative square root. So that's it. Try answering the activities in your self-learning modules and your learning activity sheets. Feel free to message me if you have questions. So for our next lessons, just see the link in the description.